DC had Captain Marvel. Marvel has Captain Marvel. Both characters are very different, but their names are the same. And this is when Shazam was Captain Marvel. A character bearing the name Captain Marvel did not make their first appearance in a Marvel or DC comic. No, spectators of myth, it was in something else entirely. But to understand that, we must first journey back to 1930s USA and the creation of what many consider to be the first comic book superhero. DC, previously called National Comics, created Superman in 1938. The character made his debut in Action Comics No. 1 during April of that year. He was a hit and over a year later, a hero named Captain Marvel debuted in issue 2 of Wiz Comics, published by the now defunct Fawcett Comics. This version of the character would eventually be renamed Shazam by DC. More on that later. Captain Marvel 2 proved a hit. In fact, some say that back then he was even a bigger deal than the Man of Steel. So much so that in 1941, Republic Pictures, a movie studio that previously tried and failed to get the film rights to Superman, would eventually make a serial on Fawcett Comics' Captain Marvel. And that made the publishers of Superman mad because they thought Captain Marvel was a Superman knockoff. So DC sent a cease and desist order to Republic Pictures telling them to stop production of the Captain Marvel film serial. Production went ahead despite this and the 12 chapter Adventures of Captain Marvel movie serial was released to critical acclaim on March 28, 1941. Altogether, its runtime was 216 minutes. But six months later, in September 1941, both Fawcett and Republic were sued by DC. They said that Captain Marvel infringed Superman, and seven years later, the suit went to trial in 1948. DC argued that Captain Marvel's abilities and traits were derived from Superman's. Back then, both Captain Marvel and Superman were overpowered gods with invulnerability, super strength, super speed, capes, and tights. Both were also newspaper reporters. However, Captain Marvel may have been the first of the two to fly. Either way, the judge in the case ruled that Captain Marvel was an illegal copy of Superman. But, and this is a big but, still ruled in Fawcett Comics' favor. This is because DC failed to copyright several of their Superman newspaper serials, and because of this, the judge determined that they had abandoned the Superman copyright. But this saga is far from over, spectators of myth. This looks like a job for Superman. DC appealed the case, and in 1951, both publishers were back in court yet again. This time, the judge was one Billings Learned Hand. Real name, no joke. Judge Hand ruled Captain Marvel did in fact infringe Superman. He ruled that the evidence presented to him from the Captain Marvel strips and artwork represented deliberate and unabashed plagiarism of Superman. Judge Hand also reversed the 1948 verdict that DC had abandoned the Superman copyright. This was because the newspapers were licenses of DC and not a partner. So basically, DC, the copyright licensor, wasn't accountable for errors made by its licensees, and therefore, DC's Superman copyright was very much still in force. Judge Hand said that the amount of infringing content would need to be settled in a retrial. However, rather than go through all that, Fawcett Comics relented and settled out of court with DC, ultimately paying them 400,000 US dollars. That was a lot of cheddar back then, and in 1953, Fawcett Comics stopped publishing superhero comic books altogether. And that left the Captain Marvel trademark up for grabs. Another publisher who was operating around that time was Timely Comics. They started out in 1939, but would eventually be renamed as Marvel Comics in the 1960s. In the latter half of that decade, Marvel got their hands on the Captain Marvel trademark. 
To keep it, they need to continually publish Captain Marvel titles every two years. To date, there have been seven versions of Marvel's Captain Marvel. Yet, in a twist, DC would later come to license Fawcett Comics' as Captain Marvel and used him in a book named Shazam! The Original Captain Marvel. That prompted Marvel Comics to issue DC with a cease and desist order. DC complied and renamed the comic book Shazam! The World's Mightiest Mortal. However, Captain Marvel was still the main character, but many comic book fans believed that his name was Shazam. Shazam is an acronym for the mythical and legendary figures Captain Marvel draws his powers from. These are Solomon, Hercules, Atlas, Zeus, Achilles, and Mercury. It's what Billy Batson yells to transform into the big red cheese. DC bought the character outright in 1991, and two decades later renamed him Shazam, because basically that's what everyone was calling him. But before all of that was when Shazam was Captain Marvel.